Richardson and Ultium, the two sides chomping at the bit to get out and to get the season finished. Manchester United and Blackburn Rovers have had a long journey to get to this final game of the campaign. Plenty of ups, the odd down here and there, but certainly United have enjoyed themselves and have shown what they can do during the course of this term. Blackburn Rovers, for the second successive season, qualifying for the top division in the Merit Group, so they're very happy with the performances of their youngsters as well. And let's confirm the two lineups for you here tonight in Altrincham. Kieran McKenna makes five changes to the side which lost 3-0 to Arsenal here last time out. In come Tanner, Ukulani, Spratt, Buffonge and Boonen. In place of Warren, Dunn, Kenyon, Gribbin and Bowie. Interesting to see the likes of Harry Spratt get a second start of the season, a second under-18 start in general for Luca Ercolani. Callum Whelan starts with the armband. He's played all but 26 minutes of the campaign in league and cup. And Indy Boonen and DJ Performance return, having missed the last three matches at this level. Blackburn Rovers beat West Ham in the Merit Group, but they lost their other five games, including the last match against Manchester City when they were 2-1 up with five minutes to go, but lost 3-2. They're without their top scorer and former United striker Daniel Butterworth, who's got 13 goals this season. So Brad Lynch leads the line. He scored nine times. Two former Reds in the back line for Blackburn as well. Goalkeeper Matthew Campbell used to play for Manchester United. So did Lewis Thompson, the left-back, who actually scored against United here in this campaign as well. So Indy Boonen back after a spell on the sidelines. One of those who can certainly add goals from wide positions, either right or left in the midfield area. Six for him this season, adding to his seven last term. DJ Buffon starts as well, wearing 10. He's had a little spell up with the reserves as well as the 18s this season and a bit of time on the sidelines as well. Buffon has seven goals for the season as well. Referee Lewis Raper going through the housekeeping with the two captains, Messrs Whelan and Callum Wright, former Everton youngster. And it's at this time of the season where you take stock and you look back a little bit to what the youngsters have achieved, what they've managed to do on the pitch this season, as well as off it, how they've acted, how they've behaved. Kieran McKenna. So we're pretty much ready to go. Blackburn will kick us off. The curtain comes down on another season full of challenges, experiences and goals. United uh, looking to try and add to the goals tally tonight. 77 in the league so far during the course of this campaign. Love to hit a few more and get a few more points on the board as well. A strong finish to the campaign, certainly what they're looking for. Blackburn Rovers looking to avoid being the bottom team in the Merit Group phase Division 1 by getting a win here tonight as well. The pitch has been well watered by the ground staff here at auction but also by Mother Nature in the last uh, 12 hours or so. So it should be a nice, quick, zippy surface for these two mm. to show what they can do. It was very, very bumpy, very fiery against Arsenal uh, a few weeks ago, but certainly a little bit of rain on the pitch uh, should make it go faster. This is Nishan Burkhart showing his pace early on. Back it goes to George Tanner. He missed the chance to play here against Arsenal because of that calf injury in the warm-up. Just a tight calf, nothing serious, which is why he's back in tonight. Had to watch the game from the stands with a nice pack on rather than getting stuck in. And obviously he'll have been disappointed to see what happened with Arsenal getting the goals and the points. Challenged by Boonen, just bundling over Ben Payton. Trying to take it quickly here, looking for Brad Lynch, but it's too quick even for him. Billy Barr is the Blackburn boss. And he'll be looking for a first merit group clean sheet for Blackburn Rovers tonight, if that's possible. Try and at least get a point on the board tonight from this trip to Altshim, a final match for his side as well as for United. And what's been an intriguing season for both these teams. Blackburn scored an average of nearly two goals a game in the regular season. But that's been cut in half in the Merit Group phase as they're up against the teams who finished in the top places in the south as well as the best of the north. DJ Buffon wins it back. Now it's a chance for Burkhart to race through, but Matthew Campbell 
very quickly off limits to get rid of the danger. And Dernley just got almost slotting them right through there. He skipped off the surface. Back it goes to Thea Richardson. Pinpoint pass again from Richardson. Twice he's done that at Tarnov. Fantastic ball. He's looking long for Burkhart here. He's already seeing plenty of the ball in these opening stages. Clearances made by Ben Blackburn. Couldn't really play for anyone else, could he? The big centre half. Yeah. certainly got the team going after a couple of results which they didn't enjoy the two defeats at the start of the campaign Kieran McKenna sort of stoked the fire with the players made sure they were aware of their responsibilities of pulling on the shirt but also giving them the freedom to play and express themselves on the pitch which is certainly something that we've seen throughout the course of the campaign it's why we've seen so many goals here's Dernley Guilty of using a bit too much force in the eyes of the referee. It's a free kick that Matthew Campbell will come out and take. Former United goalkeeper. So many matches that you do with the under-18s, with the reserves, you come across so many former United players, even mm. at this young stage. Of course, there comes a point where coaches have to make decisions on players, players maybe make decisions on clubs and on their own futures. So many boys come through various age groups. Obviously, there's people get released all the time. But effectively, when you're a young lad at the club, you're always on trial. You're just always hoping to catch the eye and, and play well. And of course, over the next few weeks and months, many young players will be told that it's not going to be for them at clubs right around the country. The scramble then starts to find new clubs. You always think of the transfer window being all about who United are going to spend 30 million on or who might be going into the Etihad or Stamford Bridge. But so many young players who are wondering where their futures will lie. And of course, other youngsters hoping to be the next Marcus Rashford or the next Jesse Lingard. Well, that's what the players at Manchester United have got to aspire to. Aspire to. And why not? You've, got to, you've just got to be sort of hoping and, uh, and you get a good sort of run in various sides uh, because the chances that they two lads have taken are incredible. There's a chance for Blackburn to gallop forward. Good defending, though, from Harry Spratt, who needed a bit of help from his goalkeeper, and that's gone behind for a Blackburn corner. Uh, it could have been a bit awkward in the end, really. Sometimes you just probably make sure you just clear the ball. Richardson would have been under a little bit of pressure there. Harry Spratt's only start this season came against Sunderland. Seven substitute appearances before tonight as well. He steps up to add to his five appearances last season. That's a tricky one for Richardson. He's got hands on it. Andy Boonen now tries to turn defence into attack, but that'll be a Blackburn throw. Yeah, great corner in, good tra trajectory on it. Difficult for defenders and the goalkeeper. Here's Blackburn. Showed too much of that to Dernley. Yeah, they'll be reeling Blackburn from the last game when they were 2 1 up with five minutes to go against Manchester City. Then two late goals turned the match right around, and City claimed the points. And they put an extra bit of determination in their minds, perhaps tonight, to come here and make sure they see the game out if they're in front. 
something that United have perhaps at times this season struggled to do. Albeit there have been plenty of matches, plenty of matches that have been won by this under-18 side. And what will encourage Kieran McKenna and the boys, I think, is the ones that have got away were all winnable at mm. one stage of the match when United were either on top or... Great habit to get into winning, but uh, the performances have been the ones to highlight, I think, and if, if you're performing well, sometimes games can go against you. That FA Youth Cup tied Old Trafford, obviously one that springs to mind, 1-0 up. Mm. and losing by two goals to one, but it's all part of the learning curve, isn't it? I think that, on Hamilton. That's exactly it. It's you know fantastic uh, goal from Chong in that game. Incredible, sort of almost like a bicycle kick, but um, they turned it round in the last 10 minutes and, uh, and, and you're out. Hard one for them to get over because you've got a great tradition in that club, but uh, they bounced back from that and uh, gave some great performances since then. And for many of this United side, there's always next year. For some, they'll have to step up to the reserve side or maybe their future lies elsewhere. All the way through to Matthew Campbell. Of course, this is a Manchester United side tonight without various regulars. The likes of Jake Kenyon, Tyrell Warren, Leo Connor, Angel Gomez, Josh Bowie, Aidan Barlow. Alan Gribben, who's popped down in the last few games. Some of those will be involved mm. with the reserves on Monday. Another free kick, this time that goes Blackburn's way. That's more than half a team there, really, uh, that you just mentioned. But, as you say, a lot of these lads have been playing in various under-21 games, and that's what it's all about, pushing up the ladder. Blackburn free kick taken by Brad Lynch. Straight, Fear Richardson. Strange in some way. 